Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, 70 Chevelle Super Sport. Listen, man, when you talk about muscle cars, the Chevelle's in the top 10, it's gotta maybe be in the top five. Throw in a four speed, throw in cranberry red, throw in frame off restoration, detailed everywhere, and it is what you should be looking for when buying that classic, exotic, or uh, whatever kind of car you want. But in the world of muscle cars, this is really one awesome, awesome piece. So anyway, uh, we had this car painted. It's cranberry red with uh, the black stripes, and it is beautifully, beautifully done. Come on up here, I want you to look, see this for a second. All right, wet sanded and buffed, okay? All right, and here, this is nice too, because you can see it's nice and clear. You can see what time it is in your watch. This is what you should be getting from anybody else you're looking for uh, on the internet. In this case here, we had the car painted, all, all wet sanded. Then we went ahead and had the, uh, and the reason why is this car was, uh, came to us green. It was the wrong color green for the car. So uh, we decided to do a color change on it and get it to this level here. So what we did is painted, wet sanded. Then we went ahead and put the black stripe on, wet sanded again. Then we had cleared the whole car so that you can't feel the stripes. This way you can wash and wax the car as much as you want without worrying about the edges uh, peeling off the car and ruining everything that you have spent so time for. Because this is a car that you're going to want to take to a show and do some things with. Uh, you get the Super Sport wheels here. Now listen, they came standard with 14 inch. These are 15 inch with a big set of wheels and tires. This medium bodied car, the mid-sized cars, can handle this much wheel and tire in there and they drive and handle even better. You know, tire technology's changed a lot, but if you want the stock 14-inch wheels, we have those also. We're happy to swap them back out for you, whatever you want, uh, but this is just, it just fills up the wheel well. It's just a little bit better, but your choice, your call. Doesn't matter to me, I can put them on a different car, all right? Buried inside there are power disc brakes that you, uh, that you can't see. Another nice feature we forget to ask about, and well, as power steering. Okay, so a lot of what you spend on a car, a lot of people can't see, but the difference is it changes the drive and the characteristics of it. For instance, let's peek under here for a minute. Look at all the detail here. Everything's new, it's either replated, polished, uh, painted correctly, it's got the big sway bar on it, uh, coil springs, all those good things. And all that stuff there makes for the drive to be a whole lot different. It's got the fast ratio steering box and what have you. This is what you should be looking for. Check out this. All new floor pans, exhaust, frame is painted, everything under there looks beautiful, done, it's nicely restored. All right, let's take a peek under the hood. All right, so you want to go to a car show, you want to buy a car that uh, you can be proud of, and even if you don't want to go to a car show, you know, some of the things you should be looking for is what we've done here. Come on up and I'll show you what we're talking about. For instance, like this is very detailed, yes, and a lot of people can do that, but then you take it to the next level, which is things like the tower clamps that we've put on here, the circa 19, uh, 70s, 60s vintage clamps, uh, they've reproducing them now, and this is really nice. So you got the GM hoses, you got the clamps in here, nicely painted engine block. The truth of the matter is this car here is a little over restored. It's actually much nicer than it did when it rolled off the, off the showroom floor, off the factory floor, and into the showrooms. And you know what, I'm not sure I want to falter for that, but come over here because this is where I want you to see uh, the stuff that you should be getting. The cups here to protect the spark plug wires. You got the correct black wires here. The AC Delco wires, steering box is all new and detailed, washer bottle, painted in here. We talked about the power disc brakes, radiator's been recorded, dual horns like you're supposed to have that actually work. You'd be surprised at how many times uh, the horns don't work on a car. So uh, this is nice. This is a battery topper here with the correct style uh, battery clamps. So if whether you want to show the car or not, it really looks good, so you can either open the hood and stare at it yourself while you're having a cocktail, or a glass of wine, or a beer, or juice, whatever it is you choose. <laughs> or if you want to go to a show, you'll certainly uh, be proud to throw this up anytime when you go to cruise at night or what have you, okay? Okay, so we're back in the car here. You got the SS collets like you should, the correct Super Sport tip. Stripes come down here, they're clear coated as well. And then you have under here, the exhaust coming out the right way, F41 suspension, so it has a sway bar back there. You would be surprised at what the rear sway bar does to the handling of these things. Plus the tire upgrade really drives completely different than stock. Has a 12 bolt in it, just like it's supposed to. Okay, I left this like this because I wanted you to see. You know, in the world of cars, sometimes it's important to be able to see uh, what somebody else did with the car before you. So in this case here, not only was this car garage kept, he kept it under a cover, okay? But look at the detail of the trunk in here. Everything's splatter coat painted, a fresh mat, it's got a spare tire, a jack and things like that. And you say, well, what's the big deal about having that? 
Well, 99% of the cars never come with a spare tire, jack, or anything. They don't come with a trunk mat. This one here is ready to go. Again, another way you can go to a car show, throw up everything like the trunk and the hood, and be proud to show off a car like this. This is really nice. I promise you that, you know, you couldn't, uh, you could probably restore a car to this level, but you could never spend this little on a car restoring it, and you can't drive one today like you could this one. You'd still be spending two years if you could find someone to start on tomorrow. Right, let's take a peek at the inside. All right, so, you know, we've been talking about the restoration of this car as we walk around it, but you're talking about new carpets, new seat covers, new foams, new dash pad, new headliner, sail panels, package tray, door panels, window cranks, uh, door knobs, console, shifter, shifter ball. It's got the original AM FM radio in it, like that, okay? Check this out. It's got the owner's manual the way it should be, right inside here. This is our checkover sheet that we've checked over the car, and like all the things, like the headlights, the turn signals, the back, uh, the brake lights, the horns, the wipers, all that stuff, the fan blower, all that stuff works before we send it to you, okay? It's just the dash is beautifully done. It's all restored. It even has a generator light that works. It's just fabulous. Custom floor mats there. If you don't love the way it says Chevelle, you can always change them out and give you a set of stock ones if you want to keep this car totally stock. But it looks really nice. And the one addition that we do for a lot of people is we install an AM, FM, CD, uh, iPod sound system in the glove box. So we kind of hide it for you. It comes with a remote. You can throw the remote right here in the uh, in the console, and that way you can have your tunes, iPod or satellite radio, whatever it is you want, without cutting up the dash and making it look uh, too digital and modern. And this way you kind of keep the old school look, but you get your great sound and music that you want. Anyway, the real music is tied up in the sound of this car. This car is well built, it sounds spectacular, and uh, once I fire it for you, you go, wow, that thing sounds spectacular. I'll say, I told you. All right, so we're closing up the video on this car. Listen, man, I know that we've talked about how great the paint is, how nice the interior is. You saw how beautiful the engine compartment was. You looked underneath of the car. We minimized the effort that it takes to get a car to this level. It can take two years, okay? It can cost an enormous amount of money. We do it all the time, and there's no way you can buy a car, restore it, and get it anywhere close to the price point that this car is selling for, and on top of it, drive this car today or tomorrow. Um, so I just throw that out to you. The price includes free and closed door-to-door -door shipping. This car includes a one-year warranty with it. And it's just, uh, I mean, it's just an awesome buy. I get so excited about it because you know what? Until you've done this for a living, these cars here are very expensive to get to this level. And I gotta tell you, if you can jump in one right now, this is the way to do it. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about the 70 Chevelle Supersport 396 four-speed.